Master Yu Shaolin is 70 years old. He's devoted himself to the practice of traditional martial arts for over 55 years. A true master whose experience over the years has included Xing Yi Chuan, Pa Kua Cheng, the Tai Chi styles of Chen Wu Sun, and the branches of the Yang Lu Chan Tai Chi lineage which he emphasizes, Yang Ban Hao, Yang Jian Hao, and Yang Cheng Fu. He learned these systems from his teacher, Master Yu Shao Fang, who was an indoor disciple of Tian Zhao Lin. Grandmaster Tian Zhao Lin studied with both Yang Shao Hao and his father, Yang Jian Hao, third child of Yang Lu Chan. As an indoor student of Xu Shao Fang and head assistant teacher, he received the complete transmissions of the system from his master, many components of which have been lost today. Master Yu's dedication to the study of traditional martial arts was reflected in his earnestness. He would leave his house at 5 a.m. and travel two hours by bicycle to his teacher's home. He would then train until 5 p.m. and return home. When he became head assistant teacher, he would make the four-hour round trip twice a day for the morning and evening teaching sessions. Even now, at 70 years of age, and at this very advanced level, he still practices six hours every day. Yang Jian Hao was called third son by his father, Yang Luchan. Yang Luchan's first child died at an early age. Both Yang Jian Hao and his older brother, Yang Ban Hao, revised their father's old frame form. Yang Ban Hao style was known as the small frame, or Shao Jia. Yang Jian Hao style became known as the medium frame, or Zhang Jia. The form was later revised by his son, Yang Cheng Fu, which became the large frame, or Da Jia which most people in the world associate with Yang-style Tai Chi today. Volume 56 begins with demonstrations of the complete first and second section of the form. It is assumed you have mastered or at least have a working knowledge of the first and second sections from studying the companion title, Volume 55, Part 1. We have slowed the performance to three-quarter speed in order for you to observe more closely the finer details of the form, such as moving the body as one unit, following the precise arcs of the hand and arm movements, observing the subtlety of the footwork, taking notice of the exact moment of acceleration when issuing, to name a few. This is followed by section three in its entirety, performed at normal speed. The form repetition which follows is broken down into eight groups of movements. Each group is repeated four times. The complete section three is reviewed at the end of the form repetition segment. This title concludes with the entire 85 movement form performed at normal practice speed.